Hello everyone and welcome back to the series. Well, I say welcome back. This is a brand new series on Umbrian Valley, as I shown in the previous trailer. First of all, big apologies to everyone I have kept waiting to get this video out. It's been a while since uh, the Wyoming videos. She's been very busy in real life, so again, big apologies. Um, hopefully from now I can get videos a bit faster. Can't make any promises, so a big thank you to any subscriber who's stuck around. Um, almost at 100 now. So thanks very much again and we'll crack on with a tour of the island and then we'll go in to the series. So as we make our way across the bridge, obviously if you've played this map before you can just drive straight across this. It's not an actual bridge as such, there's a bit of land that you can drive across but I just thought it looks a bit better having this log bridge here. So we've got the, the water tower on the right hand side there. And just a little scout hut on the left side, and you can see the windmill in the far distance there. This whole island is full of trees previously, uh, so I went around to cut them all down. It took uh, ages to get them all cut down, but we got that in the end. And I uh, just a bit of landscaping on the island, and put the tracks and everything in. Some leftover logs there, which is what we're going to be doing today, selling them. And then some more on the right hand side here. So moving across, we've got the pig pens, obviously... The um, homes that were doing pretty well, but we had to sell up all the pigs, a bit of leftover manure there, and the pigs had to go, everything had to go, just to sort of pay off the loan, pay the bills, but now we're going to try and get back on track. So hopefully we can get some pigs going, and that will give us some manure, so we can actually get the fertiliser on the crops, which we've got on the small island here. Yeah, as you can see here, we've got some wheat, which is withered again, tough times in the previous past, so it's been very hard keeping those, those alive. Hopefully we can get those cleared away and make some money and get some fresh crop put in the ground. Making our way around the island now, we've also got the chicken coop. We have managed to keep about one rooster and two chickens, so hopefully that will um, eventually produce some more and we can get some eggs on the go in the, in the meantime. Just need some wheat in there. Uh, luckily this pan don't need water. But again, hopefully there's enough that's survived the uh, winter that will keep us through and keep us going. Making our way around, again, we've got another field here. It used to be a wheat field. Also, we've lost that due to just lack of care, essentially. So again, hopefully we can get that one cleared today and planted some fresh crop. Looking up the hill, you can see we've got the, uh, the milder, which hasn't spun for a while now. But we'll head up. This uh, landscape in here took quite a while to get this track up. It took me ages, but it's looking okay now. I'll probably make some tweaks as I get bigger vehicles up. Once I actually get vehicles going up and down, I'll make some tweaks to the land. But again, we've got the grain mill here. Hopefully we can get this thing fired up and spinning again soon. And we can start making some real money. A bit of flour as well and some olive oil off the grain mill. Looking down, I mean, you've gone, even though it's an American map, it's more of like a Scandinavian sort of look at the moment. I don't really have a theme for this series. I don't want to limit myself to certain equipment and certain buildings. So I've just it's a bit of a fictional area really. So we've got a mixture of things. We've got the shed on the left there, solar panel for a bit of income. And then up the hill we've got the greenhouse, a path round to the right, which you'll see shortly. And another windmill up there, which gives us a small bit of income, but not too much. And again, obviously all of the crops died in the greenhouses. So eventually we need to get some fertiliser, some water, and get some plants planted in there again. A lovely view though from the greenhouse over the sea towards the lighthouse. Making our way back out the gate, again you can see the windmill and the main household, which is where we will begin and end each day. I think it was the Scandinavian mod pack this one was, so a little bench there for views, nice little... Uh, Hot air balloon on the hillside there as well. And again, we've got the lovely views of the lighthouse shining through there. Added a few decorations myself of this area. Um, obviously, we can't really use it in practically, but it just looks a bit better than just having a, a tent or something on the hill. And again, lovely views. Down the back here, we've just got like a little seating area, a little family area. And as you can see, all the trees around the area, the plan is to eventually clear the trees around this island and get some new fields put in. I put the rocks in here just because when I was doing the fencing, it just kept saying, something to do with the landscaping, it just wouldn't let me place the fences on that bit there. 
So I just placed some rocks there and this is just another path that leads around to the main area. Inside the, the uh, hangar here then we've got any leftover vehicles. So we haven't got too much leftover. We've got Mercedes tractor here and we've also got a combine which is in pretty good nick. Not the biggest engine but it's enough to get us going in, in start. So with Mercedes, pretty nice model there, not the most powerful engine. And we've also got this FMZ Bison Combine, which again, not huge, but it's a nice little color, nice mod, and that will get us going to begin with. So we'll close the door there, and we'll basically crack on with the series. So as I mentioned, the uh, logs left over, the plan is today is to get the tractor and get the winch out. And essentially we're going to go around and winch them to the sell point over by the docks. Uh, that's going to be the main sell area where we get vehicles purchased and equipment purchased at the docks. We're not going to use the actual store itself. So that's includes a small delivery charge every time we get stuff. It comes to things like seed, um, small items, we'll use the main store. With big deliveries, we're just going to use the, uh, the docks and just... Bit of role play that it comes in by by ship or shipment every every couple of weeks we can get big items delivered so we can't just buy tractors and they just magically appears the same day within an hour we have to wait until the next day so i've got two day seasons on so every every day we pass is essentially a two week period give or take so it takes quite a while because i'm not the best at logging i tried the uh, log fork in the trailer but i just couldn't get the grips of it at the moment so hopefully with a bit of time and practice, I will get a lot better at logging. But for now, I'm just going to winch them across. It takes a bit of a while, dragging them all to the cell point. It's not too far. Um, so it's a good couple hours of gameplay here, which I've fast forwarded for your viewing pleasure. And yeah, this is basically us for the next few minutes. So enjoy, enjoy the music, and I'll see you back here soon.
course, the rule of thumb Oh, where does it come from? Oh, where does it come from? All your emotions with your heart on your sleeve It won't fade until you paint it black But I feel that it will come back Oh, where does it come from? 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 Oh, Okay, that is the majority of the logs taken care of. Uh, we've made just over thirty thousand uh, pounds, dollars, whatever currency you want to use. We've got current dollars on the uh, playthrough. So we're gonna go up now to the house and jump on the uh, World Wide Web. Have a look at. We need to get a disc harrower or a power harrower to get those crops removed, and we also need to get a new cedar so we can get some fresh crop in the ground. So let's take a look now at the store and see what we can find. So I went for the Nordson HK25 disc harrower and then as I purchased the um, Cedar I realised the HK25 plus another model so I'm pretty sure the Cedar I bought has a 2-in-1 model which obviously I didn't realise until doing this voiceover so I probably could have saved myself 14500 there so you'll see in the menu if you pause it now HK25 plus the NS3030 so I believe it's a disc harrower built into the Cedar which I didn't realise until now so um yeah, I'll be selling that in the next play, the next episode. Yeah, anyway, into the next time lapse. We're gonna grab the tractor again, head over to the store or the docks because it's been two weeks now, April two, and then we're just gonna crack on with getting the field cleared away and replanted with some wheat. Obviously, the rains come just in time. So just I'm driving over. Uh, just as you notice on the audio, if you're still listening now. Um, essentially I'm redoing my home office at the moment at home and I also work away during the week so I'm currently recording this on my iPad in a rental home so my own home is about an hour away from here so sometimes the voiceover sounds a bit echoey because the house I'm in now is a bit echoey my new home office hopefully I'll do a new tour at some point of my new setup and I'm planning to get a desktop as well because at the moment I'm playing a Razer laptop which is in the description which one I use 
So hopefully I get a, a desktop at some point and a better graphics card so the audio and the filming looks a bit better. So apologies if the audio is currently a little bit uh, echoey. But yeah, as I'm picking up the um, disc carrier, it almost is the same model that you can see the power harrow and the CD look almost identical. Which again, I didn't realise till now because I saved myself a fair bit of money. Anyway, where was I? I'm just wambling now. So yeah, we're going to head over to the fields, clear the crops away, and then we'll crack on.
Okay, welcome back for the final time. So, as I finish up here, obviously the series is mostly going to be a time lapse. I've done quite a bit of talking in this one, just so I can bring you up to speed of what's been happening and what's going to happen next. When it comes to time lapses, obviously I need a lot of music, and I think editing I can do quite quickly on my iPad, but the longest part is choosing the right music for the, for the scene. So if you've got a preference of music, whether you prefer the stuff I've played recently, a bit of Stranger Things or Electronica style, then let me know. If you prefer the other your country music sort of roaming stuff I've been using, just let them in the comments what you prefer and I'll try and please everyone as best as I can. If not, I'll just keep it random and decide for myself. Until then, thanks for watching. On screen now, you can like and subscribe to the video or check out more videos. Thanks again to everyone who's stuck with me so far and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.